Hey everybody, this is A7X Fan Ban from Hawaii, and this is Pirates with Ban blog number 68. So, some good things have been happening in the community. One of the main things is the Kids Club, uh, the main Facebook group that Ernie and Linda have already put a ton of time and effort into, and money, of course. So, I want to thank them personally for that. <clears throat> and it's really cool because some of the kids will probably play long term, or even if they don't, uh, in kind of like the intermediate term, they might have a similar situation where they might get into it this year and then take a break or who knows what and then but then they might come back kind of like myself and many others that were kids during the mid 2000s did kind of had a hi hiatus and then maybe come back in the future when they have more money or when they remember it randomly so so that's really awesome to see uh, Pirates of Ben Forum has been more active uh, so that's been awesome to see uh, I've had some interesting uh, questions uh, regarding customs and rules because CG4 continued a couple days ago and it's getting even more interesting. It was already uh, interesting. This is my favorite thing that's happening right now uh, and one of my favorite things in life right now because it's just so exciting and uh, amusing and there's a lot of fun combos that have been happening. So if you have not checked out Vassal Campaign Game 4 yet, um, Right now we've got we three players, myself, Xerix, and Pirate AD14, and it's been uh, accelerating, and that will continue, <laughs> I believe. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, oh man, I just find I have so much joy playing that game, and you can kind of tell from reading the battle reports that it's like, oh man. Uh, most people already know that playing game game games is one of my favorite things in Pirates, but CD4 right now is like by far my favorite pirate CSG thing now. Not that that, not that there's a ton of other things I'm doing specifically, but yeah. So CG4 is getting more exciting. Um, one of my factions launched uh, another attack um, two days ago on July 3rd. So I would say more, but I don't think I should yet. So, uh, so deal of the day is, uh, there hasn't been a ton of great auctions on eBay lately, I guess. There's a few up right now, along with some random thing that shows up when you search Pirate CSG. So, but the deal of the day right now is this one. I'm recording this July 5th, and right now this one has not quite four days left. This is a huge collection, and it has the Bouchuan and Zeus punch copies of those. And then you can also see a bunch of Six Masters, so that's pretty awesome. Obviously, uh, a lot of ships, a lot of punch ships. I think I see a punch monkey's paw but then there's a lot of unpunched ships too so this is a really nice quality lot um it's at 150 but it's free shipping and i want to see if this one gets to like 350 we'll see what happens i mean with the with how high the prices have been in the past two or three years especially um i wouldn't be surprised if this one broke 300 or or more so it could make a fun prediction maybe it'll yeah it might go for around 350 maybe maybe i'll be way off you know go for like 210 or something but or like 500 but anyway yeah my, my guess I'll guess uh, 350 I don't know anyway it's kind of fun to see things go for a, a high price because uh, means there's still interest in and uh, people playing the game people collecting the game so when something's been out of print this long then it still sells for solid money or sometimes more than it was theoretically worth uh, Back in the day, in terms of the MSRP, is pretty cool to see. So, for the card of the day, it's been a while. For the card of the day, I'm going to go to 15 sets to include the unreleased tab of the master spreadsheet. And if I get, well, if I get that, I'm just going to go based on the left column of the actual spreadsheet itself rather than the game piece numbers. So, 1 through 15 to include both Return and Savage Shores and unreleased, but we get 5. So that's South China Seas, one of the best sets, and one of my favorites, and the most expensive. <laughs> so, so this one numbers to 300, I believe, the Bouch one, or 301, Gale Force 9. So I think I did see a Gale Force 9 on eBay. It doesn't have any bids yet, something like that. So game piece 32. So I had to do my customary thing and guess what game piece it is. I don't think I know this one for sure. 032 from SCS. I'm thinking English Five Master, so HMS Lord Kettering. That's a tough one. I feel like that might be like 030, 030. I guess I'll, I'll guess that ship. 032. Yeah, it might be like, yeah, I don't know. That's my guess. 
H must throw Kettering. I don't think it's right, but... Oh, Fire Paw Specialist. Alright, that's kind of boring. Um, oh, I was way off. The Pirates are before the English in this set. Alright. Yeah, I'm rusty here. So, <laughs> I guess I'll review Fire Paw Specialist. I don't know if I have on the on the vlog yet. Or no, 032. I've got, I got the number wrong. I'm thinking 030 because I said that. Okay, so Feathered Hat is a Pirate Uncommon ship. This one is pretty solid, actually. Not a lot of four masters with S plus L speed, so right off the bat, uh, you've got really good speed for a very fair cost. 12 points, four mass. This is a square regged uh, four master. Three cargo, not great, but it's kind of clear she should be a gunship between l less cargo than masts, and then also has solid cannons. Not amazing, but the 2S in the, in the front is, is good. And then crewman at any nationality may use their abilities on this ship. Not that great. I don't know. I would want that ability on something with either more cargo, uh, maybe more points, or not a pirate ship because they already have the best crew or name crew in the game. So the ability is kind of meh. I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't really go out of my way to use it on a ship like this because I don't think I would need to. Um, I would probably just do a relatively basic setup on this ship, Captain Helmson, and then a fire pot specialist would work nicely with the 2S jib boom or four mass cannon, yeah, an oarsman would be fine, and then if you wanted to make it your main ship or main gunship in a small game, or a four, like a standard 40 point game for example, I would probably consider, at least consider, um, an SAT crew like Gunner or Calico Cat, Pirates have more than one of those, and then you could actually use, you could use Gunner, and then you could use the Calico Cat version from this set. With, that has reroll built in, so then you could have SAT with a reroll and captain, so that'd be 21 total points, and then you could still add a Helmsman. Uh, that would be cool, actually. Yeah, that'd be 23, and then you could still have an Orsman because it doesn't take up space, and that'd be 24. So that'd be a way to kind of max out the cost and cargo of the ship. So, Feathered Hat is pretty good. Um, for a rating out of 10, probably 7.5, maybe 8 because of the speed. It's just the, the guns, the guns, the cargo, and the ability are all kind of mediocre, or in terms of the cargo, even a little bit below average. You see all the other ships here pretty much have more than three cargo, and she has less cargo than masts, so that's not awesome, but the speed is the main thing that makes this ship stand out. I think she looks pretty cool, too, so I'd probably say 7.5 would be the highest I would go for a rating out of 10. Um, I'll try to look her up on eBay, see if she's there. Picture of the day is from... Uh, uh, a member uh, from Italy at the at the two Facebook groups. I think they started posting in the buy sell trade group. These are um, ships they've made and that they've been selling. So this is really exciting. And need I say more? Obviously, this is just really cool. I like how the they've actually got more realistic sales with the the again like the jib or the foremast, the the sail in the front that has actual holes in it that makes it more realistic. So that's really cool. And you can see the cards there. This is just awesome. So so go check out the uh, the two Facebook groups. I'll try to remember to link those as well. Anybody watching this might be already be on there. But anyway, so some really cool stuff happening between that, the Kids Club, and um, at least in my opinion, CG4. We got some cool stuff going on. So I realize CG4 right now is like, it's getting to the point where it's, hard to follow uh, and if you don't have some grasp over some of the customs being used that's part of why I made this report longer and went into detail on the customs being used and I'm gonna try to do that if I have time in the future is actually talk about uh, the customs and kind of refresh people's memory uh, when the report starts or not when it starts but when the customs are used I'll be like oh this is this is like the gist of what it does hopefully um, or at least I probably should because it's getting to the point where there's a lot of decent amount of customs in play and they're being used as part of combos that are becoming more complex by the turn. So so we're, we're talking about like copying a copier with a UT to copy a custom ability that brings a, another UT into play from outside the game, stuff like that. So that's kind of what just happened uh, <laughs> and it's just going to get crazier from here. So, and you can catch up on all the past CD4 reports. This tag, um, parts with ben.com slash tag slash CG4 
has all the battle reports for the game on the second page or from this little blurb at the top you can find uh, a link to the first one that's where the rules are where the rule set is um, we're using economy edition rules with a bunch of house rules and stuff so so cg4 is my favorite thing going on right now but anyway a lot of good stuff and then oh before i forget so the question of the day is what do you think is going to happen long term in vassal campaign game four i think last blog that was back in march i think i asked what you thought might happen in the short term so that's kind of been resolved to a degree um, I'm not going to say more in case you want to catch up on the reports, but yeah. So what do you think is going to happen long-term in CG4? So thanks again to Ernie and Linda with the Kids Club. It's awesome to see. And uh, this was Pirates with Ben, blog number 68. And uh, this is Ben signing off for now. Thanks for watching.